Hello. Let's talk about the button a little bit more. So in the earlier video, I created some assets here in my project, and then I sliced them up. And what we're doing here is we're filling the area of the button with um, one of these sliced images, and the image gets, you know, the corners, you know, don't get scaled, and then the in-between areas get stretched or, or tiled to fill the intervening space. Let's talk a little more about the button itself. So this, this UI button um, has, has a lot of options, and let me resize it there. You can see it resizes pretty good right now. Um, and then this, this whole image kind of fills it always, right? So let's imagine we want to make a button. And what I want to do is I want the button to, you know, change its state when you click on it, okay? Or when you tap it with your finger. And right now, I've set the background to be one of the button images that I have, okay? Um, you know, it could be the red one or it could be the, the green one. So let's make it, the, let's make it the, the red one for right now, okay? And, uh, you know, when I, when I use the button up here at the top, the type that I have set is going to determine how the button, you know, its behavior, like how it reacts when, when you tap on it and, you know, do other things with it and how the settings work. So the, the, this is set to custom right now. By default, it's usually set to system. And when it's set to system, you get the default button that looks like the iOS 7 and iOS 8. Here, we'll make one of those right now. So this is what the default you know, text button is going to look like. Okay. And, uh, you know, if I test this project, the, uh, the default button looks like this. And you can see when I, when I tap it or click on it with the mouse here, the button gets kind of, the text gets kind of gray and faded, right? It's actually a little bit transparent. And then when I let go, you can see it fades in. There's a little bit of an animation there. It's very short. And you'll see this one, even though it has a background, since I set the type to system, it gets the same effect. So the whole, you know, area of the button gets desaturated and transparent. And when I let go, it, it fades back in. Okay? So that's, that's the system behavior. Okay? And so we can, you know, we can use that. And if that works with our artwork, you know, fine, right? So you can stick with that. Okay, so what if we're not using the system button and we want to, you know, use our own artwork, okay? So I have, I have two images here. I've got this green one and this red one. I should probably set the slices to be the same, but I think it'll work okay, so I'll just leave that alone. But, uh, but anyway, so I've got two colors, so maybe I want to tap, and when I'm tapping, I want the artwork to be green, okay? So to make that happen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the type here and set the type to custom, okay? And the text changes here, so I'll have to choose a color for the type, okay? So maybe I'll, I'll choose red there so it matches. And, um, you know, now when I, when I test the project and I tap on the button, you know, it, it does this. It gets a little bit darker. So that's actually kind of a different effect, right? I tap it, and it gets a little darker and desaturated, right? Um, what if I want to set the green background as the color for the button and maybe change the text color also? So here's what you do. So the type here needs to be set to custom, and then it says state config, okay? And so the button has four states. It's got a default, a highlighted, selected, and disabled. So imagine that these states work in this way. The default is the state that we're looking at right now. So when you're not interacting with the button, that's the default. When you touch the button with your finger and make contact with it, it should show its highlighted state. Okay, so it changes to this. Um, the button, if it acts like a toggle switch where you can tap it once and it changes state, and then you tap it again and it changes back, that's the selected state, okay? And if the button is disabled, like you can't tap on it for some reason, then this is the disabled state, okay? So if we want to set the look of the button for each of these states in Xcode and Storyboard here, what we'll do is we'll select the state that we want to set. So we just set the default state, okay? Because this was set to default. So all these options here are applied to default. 
So what I'd like to do is I'm going to I'm going to change this to highlighted. Okay? And now I'm going to set the settings for the highlighted state. So for the highlighted state, I'm going to switch the background to the um, the button number 2, right? Let me check actually make sure I got the right ones. Yeah, so this is button 2 is the green one and button is the red one. Okay? And uh, maybe I want to change the uh, the text also. So uh, I'll go here and I'll I'll swap the text out for some green text there. And then I'll save and you know test my project. So now when I when I tap the button, you can see it switches for the green artwork and the text changes to green because those are the settings that I have here under the highlighted state. Okay? Um, and you can set the other things too. You can even change the text. So the text here for the button says button when we're in the default state, right? That's the text here. This is the label of the button, right? And if I switch it to the highlighted state, and then I change the highlighted title here to, you know, hello, then um, when I test and tap on the button, you'll see that the text changes to hello, okay? Um, so there you go. So, you know, and you, and you can set those states for, for, you know, all the four states, or you can set the look for all the four states, okay? Um, so anyway, so there's, a, there's another quick example of how to use the button. Right? And that gives you a lot of control over how the button is going to look for any particular you know, state. And uh, you know, when you're in the custom mode, you can pretty much just determine how it looks in any situation. You know, and if you, if you want to do something quick, and maybe if the default system styles work for you, then you can stick with the system. Okay? Um, so there you go.